The Eagle drilling Estevan Bruins narrowly beat the visiting Nippon Hawks 4-3 in overtime last Friday evening at the Civic Auditorium. The Bruins were looking for a better effort coming into the game against Nippon after losing three straight games the week before. Estevan head coach Kerry Biet had been unhappy with the club's play and their lack of a 60-minute effort. He expected his team to come out strong against the last-placed Hawks on Friday, but that was not the case. The Bruins came out of the gates flat, falling behind 2 to nothing in the first period on goals by Nipwins Stephen Jean and Eli Lynchwald. The Hawks went up 3 nothing early in the third when Tanner Dusik found the back of the net on the power play, giving the Bruins a huge hole to climb out of. The comeback for S fans started just a few minutes after the Dusik goal when Joel caught bulged the twine of the power play to get the Bruins on the board. Late in the game with Estevan still trailing 3-1, Ryan Anderson and Dylan Smith scored just a minute and 21 seconds apart to tie the game. And Estevan completed the comeback in overtime with their second power play goal of the contest. Justin Waskowicz ranked a one-timer past Hawks keeper Brody Hoffman, giving the Bruins the 4-3 victory. Friday night's game was also their breast cancer awareness night, and they did a special honoring of Melody Pearson, a longtime volunteer for the Bruins, and she did the honorary puck drop. For the EstevanMercury.ca, I'm Janelle Butler.